Hey everyone, this might sound a little bit weird coming from me, but sometimes the gear you've got really does make a difference. <laughs> and uh, sometimes a fisheye lens is what you need to tell your story. What do you think, Anish? Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back. My name is Sergio and I'm a commercial photographer here in Victoria, BC. And I just got back from another week with this uh, band that I worked with a few months ago. I think I did do a video on it. And this time, I wanted to bring something a little bit different to create some images that were slightly different than the ones from last time. First of all, shout out to my good friend Jimmy, who uh, lent me his 8mm lens here. And it's not so much going to be about the lens, but more about what it is that allows you to tell the story that you're trying to tell. So I knew going into this shoot that this was going to be a lifestyle shoot, uh, trying to document the recording process of an album. So I don't know if it's as important to have these perfectly crisp advertising style shots where everything is super sharp and well lit and everything is posed to the lot. Like this is about being as organic as possible and trying to just shoot the moment while it's happening. Specifically with the fisheye though, this helps me literally just point a camera in any single direction and I know I'll get something in frame. I'll get probably what I was trying to shoot in frame. To make it look good is a little bit of a different story. Something like this, you have to be real, real close. But I think that's part of the magic of this lens. Now, a lens like this, what it did for me last week, I'll, I'll go through some of the shots with you guys, but what it helped me really do is be in the moment and really be in there with the talent. Does, like, there is no hiding with a lens like this. There's no hiding when you're this close in the moment. Sorry about that, and filled up the card there. Um, what I was trying to say is that the talent is right there with you when you're taking your photo, when you're taking their photo. There's no hiding from this lens because you're right there and you're, you know, they know that their photo is being taken. So there, it creates a little bit more of a staged performance. And sometimes that's not what you want, but I have the options to also shoot the other images. Like I'm a fly on the wall, like I'm not supposed to be seen. This helps take, grab another little thing that you don't otherwise get by being that fly on the wall. Again, it might not be what you want, but being up there with them, it, it creates this vibe of, you know, as a viewer, you are in the room with that person. You're not like creeping in from the window, looking into the room. You're literally with them, creating this album with them. <clears throat> and I think it's just a really neat feature. I think it's something that's hard to wield. It's, there's a, a way to think about using a lens like this when it's so wide that it sees your feet in the shot because you're taking a photo of it. It's weird. You got to like, all right, hmm, interesting. Um, I got to be very mindful of 180 degrees around this lens. But it was kind of cool. It was fun. It was different. It was something that I wasn't used to. I don't think of an eight millimeter lens to shoot anything but skateboarding. But shooting it in this portrait environment was actually quite neat. And it grabbed something that I just wasn't expecting. It was able to shoot things that I am pretty thrilled on. And, and I just didn't realize that I could be so unorthodox in the way I was shooting my portraits. I gave back like six or 700 shots to that band and out of every single one of them, I might have cropped only like 50 of them at most. They are all pretty much straight out of camera minus a few little color tweaks. And that's because I am very conscious of the focal length that I'm using when I'm creating these shots. When I'm shooting at a 35, it's because I want the 35 field of view. If I'm shooting with this 8 mil over here, I'm aware that I'm going to be seeing 180 degrees around this lens. And that is kind of a lot, but I know that I'm not going to be cropping into a tiny little section of my frame if I'm using this lens. If I'm using this lens, it's because I want the vignette. It's because I want the square crop. I want to be able to see basically everything. If I want to shoot as a very specific you know, zoomed in, I want to isolate a single part of the shot, I broke out my 90 mil and I was using the tilt shifts features and creating something a little bit different. But with this 8 mil, what this allows me to do is be right there with the talent, shove this right in their face, they're aware of what's happening, I'm right there with them, and it creates this really sweet, cool, like gritty environment that was fitting for this kind of a client. 
I was out at a grocery store with a band. I was out uh, at a restaurant and I can bring a, a lens like this and just kind of go click, click, click. And I know that whatever it is that I point at will pretty much be in frame. And sure, this lens is maybe manual focus only, but it has a little scale up here that, allows, that tells me how far I'm focusing to. So I can just set it to one foot, three feet, whatever it is, and I know I'll be relatively in focus. Because this is an eight mil lens, everything is so wide. Your field of view and your um, depth of field are actually super, super deep. Even though this is a 3.5, this is actually like shooting at f8 because unless you're shooting, unless you're focusing to infinity and your subject is like a foot away from the lens, everything's gonna be relatively in focus. It's very easy to nail your focus when you have a very wide lens. The more, the tighter your lens, the more razor sharp your depth of field gets at the same aperture. So that's why it's easy with a, something like an eight mil, just set it to one feet or set it to three feet, depending how far it is you are from your subject, you'll probably get it pretty right. What I was able to create with this lens specifically is a feeling. It was a emotion that the band wanted to grab for the writing process of this album. What's cool about working with a band like this is that yeah, it doesn't need to be super duper crisp advertiser or whatever. They're you know a bunch of gritty punk rock rappers um, and it's a uh, way to just kind of put you in the space with them while they were working on this album. I know I tell you guys a lot about not wasting your money on more equipment because the story is always more important than the technical. But in this case, this allows you to create things in a way that you wouldn't be able to create without this piece of gear. Now there's a bit of an overlap on wanting certain things and needing certain things and not sure if you can tell the story with or without a certain piece of gear. Like for example, when you buy your first flash, let's say, it will unlock a lot more possibilities for you than buying your second or your third or your fourth flash. I think Something similar with this lens is that, yeah, maybe between a 35 and a 50 and an 85, there's not a whole lot of difference. But this fisheye will allow you to do things that none of those other lenses can do. That also means, though, the more niche and specific these kinds of lenses are, the less they'll allow you to do a bunch of other things. Something like a 2470 or a 24 to 105, it's very much a Goldilocks lens that does 95% of the things. It might be a very boring lens that doesn't do anything very fancy, but it will probably get most of the jobs done without ever having to blink twice. Every now and then, if you can get lucky, if you have a really generous friend in town that has Canon equipment for you to borrow, then yeah, see if you can try to get something that helps you tell a story a little bit differently. But I really think that it's still very much more important to focus on your story first, the gear second. Sometimes that gear is necessary to tell your story. And in this case, this lens is what I needed for this story. And I'm really happy with how these images turned out. I know the band was super stoked on how the images turned out. Let me know if you're happy with the images turned how the images turned out. If, if you are, if you would consider buying an eight mil lens. If you're not, then still let me know and we can start a friendly feud down in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Later.